and welcome to the very first episode of How to Lady. I'm your host Janice. And I'm Jude. So How to Lady is a series about all things female related. Yep, it could be beauty related, fashion related, lifestyle related, even health related. Absolutely anything that interests you and us. We're just as close as you, so join us as we discover How to Lady. And since today is the very first episode of How to Lady, I want to talk about a topic that has been bothering me for a while. What's that? The natural makeup look. I always try to do that, but I just look like I splattered on the whole face of highlighter. Either that or it's just too cakey. So we invited a special guest to join us today to share her expert makeup tips with us. Let's welcome... Aisha! Hi! <laughs> Thanks for joining us. No problem. Okay, so Aisha, we invited you because we noticed you have such beautiful, flawless skin. Mm -hmm. But yet at the same time, like the makeup is so natural. No, it's like she's just glowing. You can always try to... Do it on you. Okay, oh, yeah, I will nice. remove my makeup. <laughs> so my makeup is off and then yeah, you know, let's get started. Yep. So we'll start off with the base makeup. Okay. And we have three shades here. Mm -hmm. I think you'll use the number 22, okay. the medium shade. Mm. And when it comes to natural makeup, I don't really like to pick up a lot on concealer. Mm -hmm. So I always like to choose a cushion compact mm. that is good at coverage as well. We just start off with a little bit from the center of your face. Just a little bit goes a long way, mm. so just blend it up. Yep, and then you can just apply a little bit more on your under eye, uh -huh. just to cover up the eye bags. Mm. And because this cushion is quite, the coverage is quite good, mm. so you can actually double it up as like concealer for your under eye as well. I think you are almost fully covered up. Yeah, the, the coverage for this is really pretty good. making me very excited. And we didn't use a lot of product as mm. well. So yeah. it was just that few taps. Oh. And then we added a bit more on the under eye. Yeah. Okay. And we are done with the base. You want to look at it? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. And like, wow, it's like glowy. Like, I, like as if I'm awake. For natural makeup, I sort of like to go like a little bit brighter uh. just to look like I'm glowing. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's pretty good. So we can actually still conceal a little. Just a bit on... On the eye. Yes, I can see it. Yes, just very little. Just tap it mm -hmm. so that the product will not like slide off your face. Mm. Yeah, you look great. Yeah, it's, it's great already. You just need some yeah. color on your face and you're done. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, I'm good to go. And it looks like she don't have any base makeup on in a way. Brows are something that I cannot leave my house without. I know, it feels very weird, right? If you just yes. do makeup and then don't do your brows, it's like, no. Yeah, it yeah. actually frames your entire like mm. features as mm. well. But like, yeah. what kind of brow shape does one suit or like how to get like the more natural looking one? And like, even how to draw properly. When eyebrows. it comes to natural makeup, you don't mm. try to shape your eyebrows in a really odd way. Like, mm. I want it like really straight or mm. I want it really arched. So yeah. just follow your natural brow shape mm. and just fill it in. And the way I like to do it is by like, uh, stroke. Yeah, okay. Feathery stroke. Yeah. So it looks like your, like your natural hair. Right. So over here we have this like wax. So we just set it as a base mm. on her brows. I think the wax is, it actually helps to make the brow makeup a lot more long lasting. You use lesser products, but you can layer things up. Yeah, uh -huh. and it will look more natural that way. And then we will just set it with powder. Mm. Uh, eyebrow powder is actually more natural looking. If you find it easier to use pencil, you can also use pencil first and then set it with powder. Because powder actually gives off this very soft finish. Right. Yeah. I always thought like your skin is more tan, then it's a bit difficult to get that glowing, yeah. um, bright effect. But obviously no, look at June, she's glowing. Okay, so next we can just add a little bit of glow on your eyelids. Mm. So we'll use the shimmery shade on okay. your eyelid, just mm. a little bit. <laughs> so we'll be using this shade on her because she's slightly <laughs> tanner. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think we shouldn't shape. go too light, right? Just because like my base color is really like quite tan. Yeah. And stuff. After the base makeup mm. has like oxidized a little bit, mm. it sort of looks a lot more natural mm. on you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's one problem that I have also like yeah. uh, applying eyeshadow. I never really understood like, what's the right technique to apply eyeshadow. Yeah, I know same. there's so many different techniques, right? Yeah, I always end up using my fingers as well. I can't do brushes, man. I use brushes when I'm at home as well, mm. but I think when it comes to this um, natural look, it's okay for you to just smack on some like one colour on mm. your eye. Mm. So when it comes to using your finger, mm. it actually helps to bring on a lot of pigments mm. on your eyelid. Okay. Yeah. And for natural look, I don't really like to use a lot of eyeshadow anyway. Mm. If you want to still create again the depth, you can use a matte brown eyeshadow mm. yeah. to actually just add yeah. on a little at the side. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it brings on a bit of colour to your face as well, mm. so it doesn't look so flat and dull. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Blusher. Okay. 
over here we have this glow palette mm -hmm. and I think this shade looks great on you because yeah. it's slightly tanner mm -hmm. so you can use a coral shade yeah coral beige yeah. kind of shade yeah I never know where which part to oh, apply yeah. like here here yeah. here where I know some say do it here then some yeah. say apple to the cheeks yeah. so I'm like where do I yeah. put it yeah. <laughs> if you want to have like a really chic sexy look mm. you apply it here mm. and bring it in and usually I like to use more of like a bronzy, sun-kissed shade. But for now, because I kind of want to bring you into the whole natural. cute, natural makeup look, so we'll just be applying on the apples of your cheeks. Okay. But lightly again, not okay. too much. And then the leftover on your nose a little. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, like highlighting uh, it. Makes you look like you're shy. Oh, oh yes, I want I to look shy. Look shy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't put too I'm much. Shy. Okay, you look drunk. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's true. Okay, so next we'll be applying some highlighter. Mm. Again, more glow. There are some like liquid um, mm. highlighter if you want to go for a more dramatic look. Mm. I feel liquid ones are really good. Mm. And then there's like the bar kind mm -hmm. that's more like holographic style as well. But for natural look, I usually like to go for the powder one because mm. mm. it's not too much. Mm. And I'll be using the pink one mm. just on your cheekbone. Uh, yeah. It's to bring out the cheekbones, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where to highlight. Like, where do you like? You know, like, say, nose, right? The yeah, nose. the nose. Yeah, the nose. I think mostly everyone likes to apply it on the cheekbone. Uh, just so it will look like. Or you capture know. the light when you see yeah. pictures. Yeah. yeah, and some on your, uh, on your nose. Mm. Yeah. I always like to apply more on the cheek. Uh, okay. Just it's so a shy that. Thing. Yeah. Mm. I like to apply some on my chin as well. Mm. Just all the high points so that mm. it looks like your features are more like 3D. Mm. Yeah. Ah. And now the final step, the lips. Ah. I think the lips are like one of the most important thing when it comes mm. to makeup because mm. it really brings out the entire skin tone, mm. gives you life. Mm. You have pop, yeah. right? That pop on your face. Yes. So we have this yeah. lipstick palette. Wow, it's very massive. Lipstick. It's a, a lot, lot of shades. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mm -hmm. think you always like to go for the MLBB shade, right? Do you? What's MLBB? MLBB is like the my lips, <laughs> but better. Oh, my lips, but, but better. better. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> so it's like <laughs> a nude lipstick, so it's oh. your lip colour, but, but better. better than my yeah. nude colour. Yeah. A natural makeup look, mm. because we don't have a lot going on on our face. Yeah. I like to go for a slightly more like reddish mm. or pinkish lip colour, mm. just so it brings out our skin tone. For a base, mm. I'll be using like a, again, an LBB shade. Okay. <laughs> it looks like there's nothing going on, but something's going on. So we'll be adding on another oh, yeah. layer. Okay. Because with just this, she'll look a little bit pale in <laughs> pictures or stuff. So we'll be choosing this shade. Sweeping off. There's the mixing palette over here, by the oh, way. Oh, I don't. I thought like why yes, they only give one brush, but then there's mixing two. zone. Oh, <laughs> oh, I really thought that why they give like which two is why brushes. there's white as well and all this oh, black. Oh, you oh, can yeah. change the color so you can like actually dig out some of the shade and then like mix it around. So for this, the ombre look, we'll yeah. just be adding a little bit on the inner corner, filling the inner area of your lips. Wow. Where has June gone? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> yeah, it, it looks really like rosy. Like I didn't put yeah. lipstick, it's like, oh, this is my natural yeah, lip colour. Yeah. But it's not, guys. My natural lip colour is like red dark. But it brings up your entire skin tone as well. You mm. look brighter as well and not so dead because mm. usually when you use the nude lipstick, it kind mm. of like brings down. Yeah, like it's nice everything. Like, yeah. Oh my god, look at June. No, I'm glowing and I'm so different. <laughs> this is not the June I know. I know, I feel so awake and I feel <laughs> so light. In every episode of How to Lady, we'll be doing a giveaway. And in this first episode, we're giving away the entire set of makeup here. All you have to do to win this giveaway is to post a picture of yourself in the natural makeup look that Fisha shared with us today on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to hashtag HTL Toggles. Hurry, because contest ends in a week. Yep, we'll see you in the next episode of How to Lady. Bye! Bye.